Okay, for this tree here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a series of basically three cuts. Um, I'm gonna create a face cut or a notch in the front of the tree in the direction I wanna fell it um, by making a top cut about something like this. I'm gonna make a back bottom cut into it from here um, and try to make that meet perfectly so I don't have an overlap, keep a clean hinge in other words. Then I'm going to make the set up the hinge by creating a back cut. And you can do this a number of different ways. For this one here, I'll start on the far side because there's a little bit of side lean there, so it's safer for me to work on this side uh, when I finish. And then I'm going to, of course, make sure that everything's all clear before I release the hinge, uh, and then exit for the uh, escape route, which is a 45 degree angle out the rear. Okay, now we made our face cut in the direction we want the tree to fall. Set up the hinge so that their strip is still um, not cut across the entire front part of this tree here on the in underside of the, hint of the notch. Uh, and now all we gotta do is pull it over. To help pull it over, gonna use a, uh, a little bit of a wedge, bang it into the one side to help control the fall a little easier. Uh, and that'll be that. Now that the tree's on the ground, we can take a look and see exactly what we did and why, how it worked out. Um, you can see the face cut was made in the direction we wanted it to fall, and that's easy to see now because it's still attached to the stump. Um, the reason we make a wide face cut is so it can totally close, and these hinge fibers hopefully don't break, so it controls the stump so it doesn't roll, say, into, into a wall or onto the driveway if you don't want it to roll. Um, so that's why we make it that wide. And you can see it's still attached all the way across. It broke in, in a couple of spots. Um, and that's the ultimate uh, thing that we're shooting for. The back cut can be any which way. It can be an overlap cut like we used here. Um, that really doesn't change anything as long as the hinge is straight across. That's really what we're shooting for.